Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IAS. The big news for today is the International Day of Yoga, which is being celebrated throughout the world. I hope you also got up in the morning and did some yoga under the guidance of a yoga practitioner. In this video, we will be discussing about how exactly did the International Day of Yoga come into being, what role did India play in the scene, how is it celebrated throughout the world, and is the International Day of Yoga much more than this? That is, is India using this as a tool for soft diplomacy throughout the world? Let's go a bit deeper into this topic with a discussion on how exactly did the International Day of Yoga come into being. It was in 2014, that is, the first year of Prime Minister Modi's government in power. That was a year when the United Nations proclaimed that June 21, from now onwards, will be celebrated as the International Day of Yoga. This resolution was passed on December 11, 2014 during the 69th session of the General Assembly. On this occasion, the Prime Minister of India said that yoga is an invaluable gift from our ancient tradition. It embodies a unity of mind and body. It is a holistic approach and it is valuable to our health and our well-being. This is considered as India's gift to the entire world. Since that day, the Yoga Day has been celebrated with a lot of vigour throughout the world, including India. The first Yoga Day celebrations were held in 2015 at the Rajpath in New Delhi and the Prime Minister, along with many other dignitaries at the top level from India, created two Guinness World Records. One, for housing close to 36,000 people and being the world's largest yoga session and second was for having the people from most number of nations participate in one single yoga session where people from as many as 84 nations came together to observe the yoga day. Since then, it has become a tradition that this day is celebrated with a lot of celebrations throughout India and the entire world altogether. This year, that is 2022, the theme for the World Yoga Day is Yoga for Humanity. The United Nations website says that during the COVID-19 pandemic, yoga has played an extremely important role in helping people who are suffering from mental health problems due to COVID-19 restrictions, lockdowns, etc. Yoga has also highlighted the need to address mental health dimension in the pandemic and also has helped people to remain physically fit. People around the world, as per the UN, are embracing yoga day by day and are staying healthy in increasingly large numbers. Yoga is also found to be particularly helpful for people who are facing a lot of fears and anxiety of different types. The UN website also says that the essence of yoga in itself is balance. Balance of not just the body, but balance between mind and the body and balancing human relationship throughout the world because this is the biggest problem that the humanity is facing right now. With a lot of things on our hand juggling all at once, it is important that we find the balance between those without losing our true sense of mind. And that is when yoga comes into the picture. Now, the interesting part is that although there are a lot of health benefits for yoga, but what the Indian government has been successful in doing is that they have used yoga as a tool for India's soft power. Now, soft power is a term that was first defined by Mr. Joseph Nye, very well-known American political scientist. He was the one who denoted the term soft power. As per him, soft power is a form of power exercised by a government that persuades rather than coerces, meaning that rather than forcefully telling the other country what to do, rather than forcing them through sanctions or through other diplomatic steps, soft power means that you persuade, you try to convince the other nation. How do we do that through yoga? See, as increasing number of people throughout the world start practicing yoga, on the International Yoga Day or otherwise as well, they start coming much closer to the Indian tradition, to the Indian history. That develops a kind of a positive mindset about India and the Indian tradition in the minds of people living in other countries as well. In these nations, whenever the leaders of those nations have to make any policy decision, they would also consider the likes and dislikes of their own people. And that is when Tools such as yoga or other forms of soft diplomacy, be it the Bollywood movies, be it the Indian culture, dance, cuisines, etc. All of that plays a major role here. 
Prime Minister Modi has used many other methods of increasing India's soft power throughout the world ever since he has come to power, including giving cricket stadiums to countries such as Afghanistan, which did not have the kind of infrastructure, giving gifts related to the nation's history whenever he visits some other nations, and also tapping into the Indian diaspora across the world. You would have seen whenever the Prime Minister makes a foreign visit, especially to Western nations, he makes it a point to have a grand event where he addresses the local Indian population, that is the Indian diaspora living in those nations. All of that is a form of soft power that India has been successful in utilizing. The Yoga Day also is one of those attempts as well. It is being seen as one of India's most successful soft power endeavors because you see a lot of people throughout the world, including in the Western world, are now committing themselves to yoga as a common exercise every single day, which sets in their mind the Indian tradition. The export of yoga to the Western nations was much, much before Prime Minister Modi. And it's not that he started it, but just that it is after this government had come to power, we have seen that this has been recognized at a much larger scale. There are some examples also. For example, when he visited Argentina in November 2018, Prime Minister Modi said that yoga was India's gift to the world of health. This is Prime Minister Modi's celebration today. He was in Mysore in Karnataka to celebrate the International Yoga Day, as you would have seen in the news, where he performed yoga with thousands of volunteers from 6 to 8 a.m., which was telecasted live also. I hope at least some of you were awake at that point of time and you were practicing yoga along with the Indian Prime Minister. The UN Secretary General also has given a message on this occasion, where he said that while the entire world is celebrating the International Day of Yoga, to heal themselves and bring inner peace, he is also glad that this practice is spreading throughout the world. He highlighted that this year's theme is Yoga for Humanity, meaning that yoga does not have any national boundaries, it is truly universal and it is open to anyone who wishes to adopt the practices of yoga. The yoga practices have their roots in India but it is now being practiced throughout the world. He also said that yoga is essential to enhance the balance for their physical, spiritual and mental well-being of the person. He also said that especially during the time that we are living in, that is a pandemic and other crises that we are facing throughout the world, yoga plays an important role to bring peace in otherwise very tense world. This is everything that you need to know about the International Day of Yoga. I wish you all the same and really hope that you imbibe yoga in your day-to-day -day life because staying healthy is one of the most important parts of the UPSC preparation. Thank you so much for watching the video.